David wanted to build a house for God. We first saw this desire back in 2 Samuel chapter 7. Now in the first half of this chapter, we see David telling the leaders of Israel about the Lord's plan to have his son Solomon not only become king after David, but also to build the Lord's house, God's temple. In verse 7, the Lord tells Solomon his kingdom will last forever if he remains steadfast to observe the Lord's commandments and his judgments. Christian, to live a life according to God's will, we must follow the commandments of our Lord. Jesus said this in Matthew 22, verses 37 through 40, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. In verse 9, Solomon gets more truth that apply to the believer today. Know the God of your father and serve him with a loyal heart and a willing mind, for the Lord searches all hearts and understands all the intent of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will be found by you, but if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. The word loyal here refers to someone who is wholly or completely devoted to Yahweh, and the word willing refers to delighting in him. So our hearts should be completely devoted to the Lord, and our minds must delight in him. Like Solomon, who would go on to build a physical dwelling for the Lord. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Believer, remain steadfast and observe the Lord's commands. Seek him today and he will be found by you.